Would you marry me anyway? Would you have my baby? <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, wait. Go ahead, Johnny Cash and Jim. Would you have my baby? Listen, I got yeah. a question. Wait, 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 wait. Home Wizards here. I'd have your baby. Okay. I can, I can unequivocally tell you I have never asked anyone that I have been in love with to have my baby. Hey, girl, have my baby. Have you? No. Probably not. No. No. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole, just so you know, that's one of the things about us that we haven't done, but we do have a lot to talk we're, about. We're people that don't ask people to have yeah, yeah. our baby. But we talk about, like, <laughs> blank walls, you know, and, and if you've just been staring at a blank wall in your apartment or your home or what the place you call home, yeah. you know, and it's just like this open, vast space, and you're thinking, you know, God, it's like I wish I had something colorful there. I wish I had something kind of design and pretty, but where do you begin? So I thought we'd talk about some ways to... To tackle that, because there's so many ideas out there that are easy and uh, attractive. And what, do you, what do you like? What's the, what's your favorite thing? It's like you see a blank wall, you walk into a space. What's your favorite thing, the first thing that pops to your mind? First thing that pops to my mind is oversized art, and I think you have one in your living room. Uh, I, I like oversized photos or art of some kind. I think that that plays with the eye. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you go, it's kind of like a, it's a trick with scale. So in your living room, let's say you have this blank wall and you think that it's kind of a smaller room, but I think to fill that whole wall with one large piece of a photo or an art, a painting of something, that's kind of fun to do. Yeah, that is, that is great. You know what else I love? What's that? For the exterior. Well, you, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? No. The living wall. Oh, of course. I didn't I didn't know you were going to love the living wall. Yeah. In fact, we found a great, there's a great website. I think it's called S. Garden.com. That's right. That's exactly what it and, is. And you can buy these kits to put on your wall. And basically, it's a frame or a shadow box. And right. then you put the succulents inside. It probably would do better in a sunnier location than inside your living room. It just depends. You'd have to check it out. But um, anyway, so many things you can put on a blank wall. Let's talk about uh, mirrors. Now, mirrors, you know, a lot of designers will say, Make sure when that one designer we talked to a few weeks back, she wanted to make sure it didn't look like set like 1970s. Yeah, and the way she achieved that was to have beveled, beveled mirror panels, Edges. and then she had differing sizes and created sort of a running bond, like a brick pattern with those individual mirrors that were um, that had edging on it. Uh-huh. If it's if it's just straight square edging, it looks like. Hey everybody, come on over to my '80s house. I look like you know it, <laughs> that. Na- I've got Nagel art hanging on my wall. You know those graphic right. girl pictures. Yeah. Remember those? Yeah. Well, here's a, here's the solution. I think is to get uh, mirrors, but have mirrors that are frameless, where they they have kind of like an, a beveled edge to them, and you can yeah. buy them inexpensively just about anywhere. Round ones, oval ones, square ones. Fat ones, thin ones. That kind of a thing. And you yeah. put them in a cluster of, you know, an odd number of them, like maybe, I don't know, seven of them. No, no, I'm sorry. It's fat ones, skinny ones, kids skinny, who climb on rocks, tough kids, even kids with chicken boxes. That's it. Hot dogs. I remember. It's weird how these old jingles. They live in my head from the 70s. But try those. Try the mirrors. I think alternate, you know, alternative sizes, large and small, make a grouping of them all on one wall. It really is stunning, especially if they are uh, frameless mirrors. Yeah. Now, now you know what else I love? What's that? The, the layered picture frames. Oh, yes. Let's tell them. Let's talk about that. So let's say you have um, a series of pictures or art that is all either a similar theme or similar colors. Yeah. And by the way, this is inspired by our good friend, Paul. Paul Devine, a great yeah. designer. Um, and he went with a nautical theme. They were old ships. But then you can have any theme and have any kind of a frame, but just make sure they're all the same color of frame or well, tone. Or either that or the, the matting the is matting, the same. Yes. Some element has to be the same. Yes. And that yeah. kind of is the thread that kind of makes it a, a cluster or a, a, a collection. collection yeah. you, well, we're not we could yeah, we cl- could say collection. We could say collection. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know it kind of takes me to that. I'm a clutterer. I'm no, a but collector, tell but tell no. them why you're not. Okay, we're not yeah. because we're because we're editing things down. That's right. And we're hanging these. Now we have this collection of pictures, all in matching or coordinated frames or colors. Yeah. And we're going to layer them like a montage. So let's say if you're looking at your wall, you would put uh, like like fu- six of them. Yeah, there you go. Six, eight, nine. Yeah. yeah. However many you want. But instead of all of them linear. And all of them flat at, at the same distance from the wall. Yeah. You're going to overlap some and o- over the others, and the eye, where you can kind of fill in the missing pieces. Yeah, and you and you achieve that by using a curtain rod yeah. above your collecting 
picture area, and then you hang these things at different depths away from the wall. So you'll have like three in the back and then two in front of that and then four in front of that, and you'll expose little corners of each picture so that it feels like you've got this depth. depth. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Really well done. Really, really beautiful. Something similar but without the overlap is to display art by a theme. Let's say that you love apples. Yeah. You love, you know, turtles, whatever, fill in the blank. You could get pictures of different styles of uh, and uh, from different periods of apples, apples on a plate, apples in a painting, in a needlepoint, in a print, and then frame them again with kind of a similar tone and then display them in kind of a, you know, a couple of, up one angle, a couple lower, so they aren't too matchy-matchy, and now it looks like you have a collection. Right. Do you love like it. that? Do I love like, it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, let's see. There's so many. How about a gallery shelf? And you can do this if you have a small space. Have you uh, you've built shelves before? A little yes, quick. Yes, very often. A, a floating mm-hmm. shelf. Floating shelf. I love. Yeah. And that's where you can, without having to hang the pictures, you're just kind of setting them cattywampus on the on the ledge. That's right. Right. And you yeah. can then overlap some of these frame pictures with the. You know, let's say they're all brown frames, and then you have black and white photos inside or something yeah. on this little. And, you know, a great thing to do with with, uh, family pictures is to take any picture, any size that you have, if it's an an old photograph or something, and then take it to a printing store, and they will blow it up to any size that you need. So you can, you know, take an old Polaroid picture, for example, from 1963, Mm -hmm. blow it up black and white, and Mm -hmm. then have a series of family pictures kind of based on some of those old photos that you have. And they look fantastic blown up. They look very graphic, you know. Speaking of graphic, it's great to have wall letters. Have you tried that, where you get letters uh, from your family name, or you can spell out a word of inspiration, and then take some of those letters in different sizes, you know, and put them on the wall. Let's say if it's right. Stromer, the letter S, but a series of S's in different colors, in different textures, and in different in different sizes. Oh, Wouldn't I that love that. Cool? That's beautiful. Yeah. So let's say you had navy and black and gray, and maybe silver, you know, and it's right. all these S's on one wall. Very cute. Kind of fun. Love that. But you can do any of these things. I love the idea of taking book covers. How how many times do you have books that maybe you aren't reading and they're taking up space? But oh, they, love that. But I know it's where a beautiful going. book cover, or yeah. maybe there's a piece of art in the book and you can frame that. And, yeah. And as long as it's kind of a similar thing, let's say because you're from Chicago, mm-hmm. you could take some beautiful photos. Maybe you have some books from Chicago or maps from Chicago, and then again now you're making kind of a theme. That's right. And again, it's a collection little area that's contained. Again, again, if it if it starts to get overrun and it goes, you have like 55 Dalmatians all over your house in terms of these little porcelain things, or, or you know, then you're not a collector; you're a hoarder. <laughs> you got to make sure you make that delineation. Yeah. Right? So we'll put the, all, all these ideas on on the website. Don't be afraid to try the uh, the upper portion of your wall too. Have you ever tried that in some of your travels? Yeah, I, I do the high shelf with books around the perimeter of the room. It's a great way to save space. Yeah, or or, or making the little framed uh, the same size or same shape frame all in that upper spot that kind of. Uh, trims all four walls in that room, yep. and that kind of brings it a cohesive kind of a collection thing. So, so many things. Don't don't feel that you can't do something with that bare wall. That's right. the idea. Anyway, hope you had some fun listening to us. You can always uh, say hi to us. Go to the website, yourhomewizards.com, yourhomewizards.com, and be sure to go to our Facebook page, uh, Facebook forward slash homewizards. We have pictures of Eric's backyard pond that's in the making. Boy, it's coming. It's going to be <laughs> glorious. Anybody say Fantasy Island? It looks cool. Oh, oh yeah. Fat- Fantasy, Fantasy Island. Island. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Hope that, that your dreams come true. Remember, you can do this. And until next time, remember this, that the key is under the mat. And be sure to check out our website, yourhomewizards.com. Bye-bye, everybody. And, yes, that's Eric singing. That's me. Man. Hey. Bye-bye. Fix-it man. Yes, I live as cold, I'll make it hot. Broadcast. All right, so how much does it cost to remodel a home? $10,000? Depends what you're doing and how big the home <laughs> is. Actually, the most dramatic and least expensive home improvement, of course, starts with color. Yeah. And as a contractor, you've worked with Dunn Edwards Paint. I love them. It's, it's one of the preferred uh, paints, in fact, the preferred paint among contractors. They are great for contractors. And they have been the supplier of paint at the Pasadena Showcase House of Design and so many other magnificent homes for decades. So now you've got to figure out which of these magnificent colors you want for your home because they have all these fun techniques on their website. Well, i got to figure out, am I doing cantaloupe or melon I, for I, my front door? I, I, I and think that's you need, one, I think you need the colors. cantaloupe. Go to DunnEdwards.com, and they have this uh, perfect palette sampler. Yes. And, and you can also get... 
get one free 8-ounce uh, Perfect Palette sampler when uh, you go to the website. You'll see what we mean. But go to DunEdwards.com. Restrictions apply for some of the store details, and you'll see the locations. But they have so many gorgeous colors, a collection with 1,696 paint colors. I didn't think there were that many colors <laughs> in, the, in the world. From dreamy blue to striking red, so check it out at DunEdwards.com.